Hi guys, welcome back to the Gabriel Farmstead. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, it's not so early. I'm still sleeping. I think my body is so used to the clock of waking up so early in the morning to go for my day job. Such that it woke up the same time today. Anyways, is this on? Oh yes, it is. Uh, like I was saying, welcome to the Gabriel Farmstead. Today I'm doing a project that I'm really excited about. Um, we are trying to put together um, a pumpkin um, arc. Um, it's definitely a bit late because we are already in March, almost the middle of March. My plants um, have been sown in seedling phase and they have germinated. And I think um, it's, it's worth a try. Um, our planting season here can be a bit extended. Um, although I really feel like I was supposed to put in this arc in the beginning of February or at um, the beginning of January or at the beginning of January. Oh, you want to say hi? Okay, say hi, Missy. Hi, Missy. No, say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Okay, wave. I let them know another book. The one in the world of book. The Lord is a fire smoke. The Lord is a nothing of a pop a big out of oh my goodness that's 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 quite a mouthful um um i don't know what was that maybe greek um i caught up that she's not happy um that i'm using the same phone she watches Peppa Pig on the phone so i guess we are throwing a tantrum because we're not watching Peppa Pig right now <clears throat> so um like i was saying i'm putting it in a bit late i would have put it in um january to february it was just too hot way way too hot you have seen how my garden has suffered and i was hoping that um it's gonna rain a little bit more usually february and march it rains a bit better the situation didn't improve um which is okay so right now um we are just putting it in today we are having faith that um we are not going to have an early winter and we are not going to have frost anytime uh, before June because um, my pumpkins require roughly 90 days. And I know if we don't have a frost um, until middle of June, they are probably going to be okay. Um, anyways, I'm just crossing fingers, guys, and being positive. So let's go. Eh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Okay, Moki. So the place where we are planning to put um this arc is right here behind me. Um, I left this space intentionally open and a bit bigger in the whole garden because I wanted to put the arc. Um, we already have a butternut um, plant somewhere here, but I'm not sure whether that's going to be part of the arc or not. Um, I don't know. We will see. Um, but this space is, um, I think, 2.5 meters. So 2 meters or 2.5 meters, roughly, something like that. So this is where we are going to be working today. Join us as we navigate and uh, plant our plants in this arc today. Uh, we start off by measuring um, the width of the mesh wire that we're using against um, the width, the length of the space because we wanted to make sure um, I had a distinct place where I wanted it to start um, and now we had to measure the poles. We decided to put um, three poles on each side um, there you can see we are kind of just uh, measuring where each pole is going to be um, and then we of course started um, digging the poles that is my brother in the picture who was busy helping us um, so we dug on one side and then moved on to the other side
And then um, we got our mesh wire and um, came in. You saw when we brought out this mesh wire out of the garage that it was folded in two. To make sure that it's standing correctly, we put it back on the floor and then we kind of just straighten it out. And um, I decided that we are going to fold it the opposite of how it was folded to make a beautiful um, arc. And then um, uh, we got some feather help there with um, putting in of the poles. We kind of just needed some manpower because we were failing. Um, I wanted to make sure that the way the poles are put in, they go through the mesh wires at least twice and we were failing to do that um, or i was failing to do that and we just needed extra help um what we found out was that um, although our holes were relatively not so deep because of the rocky soil um, our poles that we were using were even shorter and um, we just had to do with what we had um and um you know guys i thought this um trellis was actually equal on both sides but then as we are folding it here i can see that no it's definitely not um, equal there is a side that i think we folded in much nicer which is the other one not this one um so i don't like this side that we are busy working on right here right now anyways um it's not a really about liking it um it's really about whether it is standing well that is what um, matters the most so here my brother um, came in with just a rope that he tied um, on both sides um, because we wanted to we wanted this rope to keep it apart i mean together so that it doesn't just fall apart and then if you see the green rope that we used out to measure the garden we had to cut that into two and make sure that um they uh, it is tied uh, onto the fence poles because this um, gave the structure even more stability and just a fighting chance against the wind which sometimes is just so strong in um, our place okay um so okay guys so after all the hard work we are finally done we are so grateful because we got some help so this is it her majesty um i'm a bit worried about her majesty because i don't think the stability is well we used wooden poles you can see this one is a bit um longer so i'm a bit I have a bit of confidence in this, but when you compare it to the one on this side, this is much shorter. I would have loved it to come to this level. Uh, and so are the other ones, like this one is not even, this one we didn't tie it on yet. Uh, I was hoping that it goes a bit longer also, but it didn't. So we have to tie it onto the 
structure. But for now, this is where we are. Uh, I'm crossing fingers that even when we are having those very high winds, Her Majesty doesn't collapse because I'm really having um, good hopes. There's also a rope here just to kind of hold her together so that she doesn't fall apart. Um, but the other ones are this, this rope that is on one on this side and the other one on this side. Also just to try and give her a little bit more stability against the wind. We have cucumbers on this side, one from this side and the other ones on this side. But my aim is not really um, for this cucumbers to end up on this trellis. The trellis I really want to just maintain for pumpkins. So um, we are having four pumpkin plants that we are going to plant. But um, first of all, there's this. I think this is a, I don't know, cantaloupe, I think. I don't know, because I think it was a volunteer here and we didn't have uh, the heart to take it out. So here it is. I don't know what it is. But anyway, since she's already here, we are not going to remove her. She's going to become part of the structure. <laughs> it's not flowers, it's pumpkins. Yes, it's pumpkins. So these are the four that I'm going to plant. Um, let me see if I can hold them properly. This one is obviously uh, butternut. No, this is definitely a butternut because um, the leaves of the butternut are so distinct. They are having those white veins. Um, whereas when you compare that to this one, you can see that the leaves are not the same at all. So that's why I'm very confident that this is a butternut. Um, the other ones. I'm not really sure what they are, but I'm hoping we are having a Hubbard squash here. I'm hoping that we are having a Malawi village pumpkin. I'm hoping, I think one of those is definitely um, those bamboo. Oh, sorry. Hey, uncle, stop. Oh, is uncle showing you a grasshopper? Say, uncle, I'm scared of grasshoppers. Oh, you are going back. Where's your shoes, Missy? Okay. So, uh, uh, a butternut, Hobart squash, hopefully, Malawi village pumpkin, hopefully. Um, this one is the other one that I call bamboo pumpkin because I really don't know what it is. So, let me just place them. Um, I think this one I'm going to place here. We are going to plant them outside. So that one there, um, I think I'm going to pair it with one of the smaller ones. So this one, we are going to plant it here. But I think this one we are planting inside because we have enough space inside and we have a lot of uh, cones that are on the outside. So I think it, it's just fair. It gives it fair competition. Um, what now? Okay, this one, I think, oh, I think I'll put here, planting it outside. And this one, we are going to put here, planting it outside. And um, it drizzled last night, so I'm having some rainwater that I'm going to use. Let's start. You can see we had to move this one, we had to move her so that we can accommodate the arc. I don't know what it means to watering. So that means watering the potatoes is going to become a little bit more complicated. Uh, I'm expecting this one we are putting in here to do very, very well because it's in such good soil and good compost. This is um, some of our homemade and those pumpkin compost. The, um, not pumpkin, oh my goodness. Uh, mushroom compost. Oh, you can see the root, very good root system. It was starting to take over the pot. So let's just put her in there. And then we are going to water her in. Yes, pumpkin. So as she grows, we are going to be training her along the trellis. So the compost is nice and cool. So I don't doubt that she's going to do well in here. Unless she's really, unless she's to struggle with our son, 
but otherwise she's really in a good space that i don't doubt that she's going to perform well here okay um number one down off to number two and i don't want to put them really in the same line with the other ones because i'm assuming if they do really well um this one will need a little bit of space to trellis up um this one really have to fight hard because it's in a bed that is that is so hard guys way 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 hard but i also know nature has a way of making its things adapt to the conditions where they are so i'm just praying this is going to be one of those conditions because of uh, uh, i feel sorry for you uh, i just wanted to toughen up and not lose this battle okay also good root system okay i'm going to take some of this topsoil because it has very good compost and then that's the one that we are going to put here so we are also going to train her along the trellis as she grows guys that was it for today this is our arc finally done i'm so happy that uh, we got it um, this is a mesh wire that we got from the building materials section or store um it's readily available really um i don't know it's something i really wanted to do so i'm very happy with the way it turned out although it's not perfect it's definitely okay. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm grateful that we got it done. I'm grateful for the help that I got. And now it's just time to let it grow. I think at the one month mark, I'm probably gonna come in here and try to fertilize these plants just so that I can give them a better fighting chance, uh, seeing that they are planted very late. Just hopefully that is gonna rush them along and make them produce probably um, faster. So that we can get something off it before um winter finally kills them off squash um is a plant that is very frost tender so if we get frost somewhere in may then i know that they are going to die off but they also hardly grows um during hard winter um i think that is gonna be the end of april here so these plants have roughly two months or a month and a half to grow optimally before winter sets in and then they're gonna slow down considerably so um i will keep giving you a progress of how our pumpkin arc or trellis is doing and i will see you in the next one peace out